Lots of kids feel nervous or have questions about getting surgery. Knowing what to expect before you go to the hospital can help. When you come to Nemours, you'll park in the parking garage. Before entering the building, you'll need to put on your face mask. This protects you and others from germs. Everyone else will be wearing a face mask too. You'll enter the building and take an elevator to the first floor where you'll check in. Next, you'll head to the second floor. Here, you'll get bracelets with your name, birthday, and other info on it. To make sure you're getting the right care, you'll be asked your name and birthday a lot while you're here. Your family member will get a name tag. Next, you'll be measured and weighed. Your temperature and blood pressure will also be checked. After that, you'll enter pre-op. This is where you'll get ready for surgery. You may need to undress and use special wipes to clean your skin. Then you'll get a gown, socks and cap to change into and will need to take off any jewelry and glasses. It's normal to feel hungry, nervous or a little bored. Make sure you have a bag with your favorite things like a book, game or tablet and headphones. If you forget, the hospital has fun things for kids to do. Just ask your nurse. If you're still feeling nervous, you can also ask to see someone called a child life specialist. This person can explain more about what will happen and ways to feel calm. Then, you'll meet the anesthesiologist. This person will give the medicine that helps you fall asleep in the operating room so you don't feel anything during surgery. Your surgeon will also come to see you and can answer any questions you have. You may be given medicine to help you relax. It can sometimes make you feel silly enough to laugh. Right before surgery, family members go to the waiting room. But don't worry, they'll be back when your surgery is over. You'll take a ride on your bed to the operating room, called an OR for short. In the OR, you'll notice bright lights, medical equipment, and people. Doctors, nurses, and others working together to keep you safe and comfortable. They may be wearing masks, plastic eyeglasses, and gowns. This keeps you safe from germs. A nurse will place stickers on your skin to measure how your heart is beating. A sensor on your finger or toe checks how you're breathing. And a cuff on your arm keeps track of your blood pressure. These help doctors know how your body is doing during surgery. If you feel cold, you can ask for a blanket. When it's time to sleep, a soft mask will be placed over your mouth and nose. Sometimes the mask is scented to smell like fruit or candy. You'll take slow, deep breaths as you drift off to sleep. The next thing you know, you'll wake up in the recovery room. You'll still be connected to some equipment and will have an IV in your hand or arm. An IV is a soft, tiny tube placed in your vein that gives your body medicine and fluids. This will be taken out before you go home. If you're feeling uncomfortable, a pain scale can help you describe how you feel. You may get medicine to help. You'll probably feel sleepy for a little while. After you're fully awake, you can usually have a slushy, popsicle, or a drink like apple juice. When it's time to leave, some kids move to a hospital room to stay a little longer. Others go home. By knowing what to expect, you'll feel ready for your surgery.